You got spare game codes or any digital goods? There is a place you can sell them in less than one minute. Watch. Go to G2A.com. Click Start Selling. Fast Login. Go to My Account and click on Selling tab. Sell New Item. Enter Name, Code, Set a Price. And done. G2A.com Digital Marketplace. Global Selling Simplified. Sound so, resumed. So the second map is about to go live. So, what? The, hello, folder. Are you here? Yep. Alrighty. So, what is your prediction for the second map here? Well, last map pick explains a little bit more of the scoreline, but I still think that was a little bit too big of a win for them. I kind of want to give the edge to Arcade just from the momentum for first map, but... It's going to come down to, I would say, on the CT side here. Yeah, it's... The thing is, we know Orglis has potential, like, they've beat good teams in the past. It's just, they have to play to the ability that we know they have. For those of us who have seen their matches in the past against, I mean, arguably even more notable teams like Dignitas, so... Yeah, definitely. And... They're gonna need a good start. They have to break the, you know, momentum from the last map off of this team. Definitely, and special uh, shout out to uh, our sponsors, guys. Get uh, get you a Twitch teasers and EGB. Uh, thank you, uh, you guys, for making this uh, tournament possible. And we're gonna get live with the knife from now. So we're we gonna see here. Nope, we're not. <laughs> so in a second, we're gonna get live with the knife from them. I would I would say like you I would put Arcade in the favorite of the second map as well. I, I think they're gonna bring it to zero now uh, after the first map performance. But we're not gonna I'm not gonna underestimate Orglas here, and we know what they can do as you said. So they basically need to show uh, they basically gotta show it. Yeah, they definitely need a good start. So yeah. It's kind of concerning though because this map has the same general theme as Mirage. I mean a lot of the things that make a team good on Mirage are the things that make the team good on Cobble. And the problem is the kind of mistakes that Orglis was making on Mirage may, may turn out to be a problem again on this map. And you get punished for a lot worse in this map. I mean, the executions weren't really there in the first half for uh, Orglis' T side, like the trade fragging and the executions, the pacing of it wasn't that great the first half. So, I mean, if they have issues with trade fragging and executions being, you know, with the proper pacing and the proper um, coordination, then I think this might be Arcade's map yet again. I mean, it's not like they're playing Dust 2 where it's completely... It, it's a completely different environment where it's more about aim, more about op duels, things like that. Like, this is very similar to Mirage in a lot of different um, aspects. Yeah, so. it's a really big map, so it's, big, uh, it's gonna be a long, uh, a lot of long du uh, range duels here. We're gonna see, because I kind of feel like this map is too too, uh, too big. They need to cut it low bit, I would say, the map design. Believe it or not, it used to be so much bigger in 1.6, but... I mean, this map has gone through so many changes. I think at this point, this map has gone through more changes than any map in CS, in like all the versions of it. So. Yeah. So any minutes now, we're gonna get live. But yeah, we need to see Orgus on fire here. They cannot slack at the first map. Then it's gonna be a walk in the park uh, for Arkin now to bring on the second one as well, and get this two nil in the series. But. So we need we need Barco basically from Orgus to step up here. We know that Barco, he's the man of. He's the man of the team here, so he got to be the man that takes control of the team and say, Hey guys, come on, let's wake up here, let's win this. So, yeah. 
Yeah, it was a lot on Dead Fox last map. A lot of the rounds that they actually did win were because of him getting opening kills with the op, but it just seems like there's too much pressure on both him and Barcode. It, you know, you can't put that much pressure on one or two players and consistently expect them to perform well. I mean, a lot of people always pressure players like Simple into performing and, you know, dropping 30 every single match, but you can't realistically expect that every single match. No, definitely. It's five. This is a team game. You need five players to play not on the two or three, so you're right. Everyone yeah. needs to step up from both of these two teams. I don't the funny really thing know. is about Arcade is everyone was pretty much the same score at the end of the first map for Arcade. Like everyone across the board, there was nobody lagging behind. Everybody was pulling their weight. So yeah, yeah, that's true. So I don't really know what we're waiting for right now. But um, let's keep talking about what Orgus can do to actually... What strategy you think they're gonna come up with here on uh, on cobblestone? This is their this is Orgus map pick, so they should have something when they choose this map. Would you would say that B site is preferable? Standard. Like the problem was that Arcade had their number on that first map. They were really doing the same thing all the time on their T side. They were always doing executions. They can't play so one-dimensional on this map. Like they have to mix it up. They have to play, you know, a little less traditional. Maybe do some aggression here and there. Maybe do some kind of weird boost into your drop room. But I wouldn't want to see them play completely passively on their CT side here. Because I think Orglis is going to fall into the same trap it did the first map, if that's the case. Yeah. So. Yeah, we see here in this ship it are very very short ahead and they have some AFK I think we have cyber focus not really in this with this comp in this computer yet. So we're gonna take a little bit short uh, short commercial break guys. We're gonna be back very very shortly with the second map of arcade against Orgus. Sound muted. Sound resumed. So we're now live with the knife on everyone. So welcome to the stream, everyone. Thank you, everyone, for joining. This is me at this is me, the fine tricky fort, and with me I have Fowler as a co-caster. So let's get on the way with the knife run, and Orius need to win this knife run. There's no doubt about that. Yeah, and unfortunately. They're not going to again. I think Arcade won the last knife round as well. It, yeah, they did. Because I remember them wanting to uh, swap over to CT side first. They're gonna Those stay. Two knife rounds. Are they gonna oh. stay? Huh? They're actually gonna stay on the T side here, Arcade. The CAS team is designed to stay. Well, they're probably got something sneaky up their book if they're. Sticking on this side, they probably have some really nice uh, execution on one of the bomb sites. So yeah, definitely. So we're gonna see now that, let's see here, okay now the state they have, they actually have no grenades to work with. So they are gonna have these Glocks to work with only with the Kevlar's though. Every single player bought a Kevlar as well. So. We're gonna see that you play gonna come in from market here. We're gonna see headshots rolling in as well. Barco, can he stop it? He's gonna get first, getting the second one. How did he get those two kills? 
And now, will they get the bomb bomb for cyber focus? Yes, the bomb will be going down, but... Orgus, they're gonna capitalize that and just go back to the bomb site. Bit of a split there down drop. They wanted to do a Glock train, but the problem is they weren't jumping around the corners, so it was a pretty easy lineup for the CTs there, right around the corner. Really good shots there by Bar Barco, though. Yeah, Barco should he, he should not knock get the second one there. That was well done from him, and we're gonna see now Arco. They only gotta have this four P to fifteen one diagonal fix, and nothing else really. Yeah, it's looking like they're going to go for the full buy on that third round, but let's just hope for the CT's sake that they don't actually lose any guns unnecessarily here. They really can't afford to lose these P90s. Oh, definitely not. Um, Arco, they're not going to really try to win this round. They're going to try to get one or two, but they're not even going to get that, and now they're just holding down like domino breaks, and final fix is going to get a shot with a Diga, but... Only one kill, the Deagle cost $700 and getting one kill with it is not gonna, not gonna make this bank any better. He did kill one of the players with an actual rifle though, so that was pretty good. If he was gonna kill anyone with the Deagle, might as well be one of the riflers, not the SMG, but here comes that gun run I was talking about here. And they have a lot of utility to work with too. Yeah, so we're gonna see now the gun runs for both of these two teams. I'm just gonna see the soul play from Orchid here. They're two rounds down, haven't yet to pick up one, but this is gonna be the first round to dig in the side here. If we can actually come back into this, but yeah. That's a really neat boost there by Arch. That yeah, this boost. Is, I haven't really seen this before actually. This is it's really, pretty really deliberate. Cool I think they were anticipating a boost coming from drop, but they might use that later on, because that's a pretty good boost. Yeah, definitely, and we can see Barco now is behind the tree up on that B side, so if Barco now peeks out, this is gonna be genius for Barco, and he's gonna get the kill fast. No damage is taken back to Barco, so he's gonna have that 100 HP to work with now. So let's see here. Five versus four. Turn back to four versus four now. With Spiker are gonna come in here, and we can see Cyberfolk is gonna try to battle on former, and he's gonna get the better of him. And now they're just gonna go back and forth, back and forth there. But gosh, now this is fast. That's a lightning here, and we're gonna see back so. Four versus two, back to two versus two, and what do you think now? Do you think Arky gonna win this round? It's gonna look pretty rough here. Bomb down. No utility. He has no idea where this last CT is at. He might actually fake plant here and peek. Yeah. No, he's no. gonna stick it. Bomb has been planted. Yeah, we can see now. Oh, Cyber Fuki doesn't Just know it's slash in the corner. Oh, that was that's a, painful. That was a four versus two I managed from Arcade as well. I think oh, he just missed him there. So yeah, very, very uh, unfortunate there from Cyber, not getting that kill on Flash, and... Yeah, this is... That was just... That was basically what Orius needed there. Yeah. Getting a freeze here, get the first gun on, and win Ooh. that, and... Arcade, force look, by. Yeah, they're gonna force back. The vast majority of these players had under 3,500. This is... This is really gonna break them if they lose this round here. Even with the loser bonus, they're going to be pretty much dead broke after this round. If they lose this round with no bomb plant, they need at least a bomb plant. And definitely, and this is Orga's map pick, so yeah, we really know Orga why they decided to start on the T side. We yet to figure that out. They definitely had a set plan coming into this, but nothing's really panning out on these after plant scenarios. They're getting into the bomb sites just fine, but. Yeah, it's not planning out as the one in here especially, uh, for the arcade. They expected a lot here on the T-Sub, but they're not getting so much ground to work on, and Orgus, they're doing a good job shutting them down with the smoke grenades. Now, they have no utility it. left. They have nothing. They don't have a single smoke on the T-Side right now. What, like, what can they expect to do? They have to just get a dry entry. Yeah, they need to do that. And, and he we... gets it! Nice play coming from Orchid. They still have flashes to work with, or four flashbangs. Indeed now, and Bark is still up on that tree area, he's gonna fall down, and this is a nice entry track from RK now. They're gonna get a third as well, and that's gonna allow them to get the bomb plant as well. They're gonna put in the gingers in the code here, on the bomb. So, almost a flawless uh, gun on here for Arcade. That's really quite curious, because all of these duels that they took, they were dry peaks. There wasn't any support flashes, there was no smokes to isolate CTs. Nobody was really getting flanked, it's just they got out aimed.
on four different occasions. Yeah, that's definitely true. And that, now Dead Fox, he's gonna calculate and go back and save this 8k he has. Because he can't go for the retake for 1 versus 4. It's kind of impossible here. They might actually force buy behind this AK. Look at their money. Terrorists win. It would not be surprising at all. No, not at all. So, we're gonna see now that. Will the force up here? Or is I, I don't think they can afford it actually. It would not be ideal to force up here because they don't really have any right. They don't have an rifle to work with at that point. So what all they got basically gonna buy is the pistols here. Dead Fox is gonna have that gun. And what I'm I would like them to have, have... He's gonna go with it because they're surely gonna hunt him down for this. If they recognize that he's the one with the gun. Yeah, I would like them to put him on a B bomb side, rest of them stacking A's. So you have the gun on B bomb side, but. That's not gonna be the case, and we're gonna see now Dead Fox. The gun is already gone, and now Spaz are gonna come in with another one. And Nay, now he needs to get them down here with the 5.7. The 5.7 is just not connecting. And we're gonna see now, this is not looking good here for the August team here. They had the freeze here in the start, and now Arcade, they're starting to read the area. Yeah, this is looking great from Arcade here. Though that was really a curious decision because if he was opting to save this AK for the next round, assuming that his team was going to lose this round, why play the AK so close up where it's pretty much guaranteed that you're going to lose it? He just he was the first person to die with and he was the only person with a gun. Yeah. So we're gonna see free two now and Orioles, they're gonna be down to this low body uh, pistol run here, the low body pistols and fuse, they're actually gonna have four smoke grenades to work with though and one HE. Yeah, they're just gonna play like it's Inferno. They're gonna keep it chain smoked at the B entrance at Plateau. They're not gonna let anybody go through that without it being through a smoke. Oh, but there's actually a gap. Whoever threw that smoke, there's a massive gap and they don't know this. This is a disaster here if this is gonna come, if this is gonna go down to Orioles. That's, they have already thrown three of their uh, four smoke grenades here. They only have one left on Dead Fox to work with. And now that's gonna load it to just creep over to, over to B. They have nobody on B site. Completely stacked. Just because he was gapped there, they could just walk into the. I don't think they would have walked into B, B site otherwise, RK, there if they didn't see that gap. No, not at all. Not at all. And this is gonna be a clean plan. I'd be surprised if they lost a single person at this point. They know it's a stack at the other bomb site. Yeah, they definitely know that, and I would. They have three hundred dollars in each player, so you could. You're probably gonna go for these exits. And they're not gonna get them, unfortunately. They're just getting outgunned everywhere. They're sticking together, having the buddy system. If one person were to die, they have to trade right there. So, really well done by Arcade, bringing this back. And look at their economy in comparison to the CTs. Eleven K on Cyber Focus. It's Incredible, considering what they had just three rounds prior. Yeah, definitely, and we're gonna see an AWP as well now coming from Dead Fox here. So we're equal. We're back to free free here. The, the scoreboard are equalized. Now we're gonna see here. Look at Farmer once again. He's close towards the smoke here. They really wanna play at the edge of the smoke here. Here comes the pop flash. They're gonna bust out a plateau right now. Yeah, we're gonna see Dead Fox is trapped in the corner now. He need reinforcement. He need to reapply the muzzles and the flashes and nays. All everything is gonna rain in here. And nay, he somehow is gonna get down fast. And this is not working out for Arcade in this round. Nice shot down here from the CT's players. They got bottlenecked because of the counter flashes. Everyone was getting blinded on plateau, just staring at the ground. They couldn't really do much. Couldn't get the trade kills. By then, they were pretty much getting pincered from every angle. How much they could do there? Besides, maybe just. Bust out onto the site sooner, maybe go faster out of plateau with that flash, because it seems like they kind of hesitated there. They kind of stopped, and that's when they got counter flashed heavily. Yeah, definitely. And we're gonna see now that once again, Cyber Focus is gonna be with that AWP and with that sniper. Now, once again, it's a gap. It's a gap in that short smoke towards the B. I don't know. We're good. See if they actually make use of out of it, because. He doesn't have anyone backing him up this time is the problem. There's two people in drop room. He's alone, so it'd be kind of risky to work a pick, even if it's a gap there. Yeah, but they're not really careful when, they fl uh, when they're doing the smoke grenade, so... Yeah, this could ping off at the end here, but we gotta see Cyberfoox. He's got point bang range. He's gonna be taking down here. And Flash is gonna take fix, so... 
Nice two kills here. Two first initials here for Orglass. Clean kills as well. No trade potential there. No, no Arkin did no not. Trade. They need to get the trade kills. This is not looking too good. I don't even think they're gonna bomb plant this round. Being very unlikely. No, it doesn't look that way. All gonna be down to spike, and it's gonna be taken from uh, from the back. By Nay. And yeah, five to three now. It looks like Orgus is bouncing they back. Still have economy. They still have economy. That's the crazy thing. And they'll be able to buy up the round after this as well, because they're gonna have loser bonus by the point. Another op on Cyber Focus. You're not really seeing him do too much with that op though. Like I'm not seeing him get any entry kills with it. No, we don't really do we do that and Cyber Focus now. Second time around with that op. Let's see if the second time is gonna be the charm. Now they once this time time around they have that Molotov instead of the smoke grenade. We can see that Dead Fox once again the same position oh, here. Smoke. Is there a gap? No, there's not, not that time. That would have been disastrous. Cyber Focus could have just lurked out of that smoke and got a free kill. If there'd been another gap. Yeah, definitely. We still yet to make a player. This uh, this old pace coming in here from both of these two teams. And now finally farming getting the first one. Flash! Are gonna connect with the second one. And let's see here. Fix! It's gonna find Flash! And now Oh no, Fix is not getting that second one. Nate down to five hit points and dead five nineteen, so. Death Hearts are gonna finish off that, but that could have been an arcade round. Just look at HP. Yeah, I think a lot of it came down to the fact that they weren't perfectly in sync. As you could see, one of the players could have easily came out of drop sooner and shot that player from behind. That was that uh, that statue. He was actually exposed for a good amount of the time to drop room peak, but they weren't really on the same page. It seemed like it seemed like they were hesitating. Some of them were kind of caught back a little bit. They're not really going in at the exact crisp times that they need to go into to get these kills. And here comes the first time to be pretty strapped on cash to lose this round. Yeah, they're pretty bad. They're not gonna have a good economy here, Orchid, if they manage to lose this round here. And looks like they're gonna, actually gonna win the round here. 3 versus 2 now, and but if you look at HP, the, at the advantage for the Hungarians. The CIS yeah. team, they don't have much to work with. It's all on Spiker here. He's got to come up huge for his team. He's the only one in a really strong position to get HP. Oh yeah, he's playing the Shiki Coop area. And is this... How did Orgas... No, it's not. They had the crossfire position set up here as well from Arcade. They had one guy sight. One guy... Uh, exact outside drop. Uh, beside side B. And then they had one guy Shiki Coop. They had a perfect setup, and they yet to manage to get one kill in that run. Yeah, they just didn't really trade off of each other. They were just, they were stepping a crossfire, but they weren't playing like they were User in a crossfire. Your channel. Hello, my friends. Channel switched. So we're having some technical issues here with the team speak server. Your channel. So I think we need to switch team speak server over. But yeah, 73 now Orglas here. Arcade they have one man drop, so Arcade has some technical issues here hey, now. Wake up. Is this is this live? Because this happened immediately at the start of the round. Before anything happened, before anyone left spawn. This round really shouldn't count. If they have yeah. matchmatic or something. They playing fibers for the whole run here, Arcade, and this is not gonna. Do they even have a buy run as well, and only have four people on the buy run. It's just not gonna make life easier here for uh, for the CAS team. Do we have any way of knowing if they can replay this round or not? Because usually in those kind of scenarios, the rounds get replayed if it happens before any kind of actual impact happens. Like right about now is when he disconnected, like right now. Yeah, I think we're gonna keep playing. We don't have any words from the admins here, so they're just gonna keep playing. They're wrong. No oh, argues. That's brutal. They're not arguing anything here, Arcade. So, <laughs> yeah, it's just, I definitely wanted to replay that one if I were them, but they're gonna keep going and Cyber Focus are gonna get tagged down very low here, so we need to go back down. Look at this. That Fox, oh, it's gonna get down low. It's just gonna fall down. And now this could be arcade. They need this run. 
Yeah, this would be great for them here, especially for their economy, but they have to get onto a site, and the problem is, look at their utility. Look what they have. They have a decoy, and they have a smoke. Like, it's going to be really rough getting onto the site, unless somebody gets, like, a crazy, crazy shot. Yeah, definitely. Like that. <laughs> Spiker is going to get a first one. Good job from him. But now he needs to get a second one, but that's not going to happen. No. Still a free versus two one man on that show. Honestly, in this situation, I prefer cyber focus. Just try to get it. Oh, actually, no, they're not gonna need it. Yeah, but they need to come up huge here. One versus three, turning into one versus two, but look at HP, cyber focus down to 17. So we could actually do this if you manage to get a quick killer on cyber, but it's not just gonna look the wrong angle. Really oh, good he needs to look the full, he needs to f fully look that angle. He just half looked it, and it's gonna be an eight to four, and that's gonna. That's gonna pay the price here for more arcade. CT economy though, ten grand on two of their players, nine grand on one. They're not hurting for money at all. They'll be able to buy next round if they lose this one as well. And no off on cyber focus, so it'll be pretty rough. Yeah, definitely it's gonna be rough here, but Deathforce once again with that sniper. So look at Nado, and if you take a look at the scoreboard here, eight and seven. He's He's definitely the drive force and the key player now for Orgles in this match. We haven't yet to see any people barcode yet. I'm only sitting on 7 frags, so... Yeah. yeah, there's definitely a lot of hype around him, but... Maybe the pressure's getting to him in this match. Very yeah. well, could be. Definitely, they still have a lead though, but... This is a CT favorite map, so... But not that much, at least, I would say. Only a few more rounds, but... We're gonna see Barker finally stepping up, making that kill on Spiker, and that could turn off, t turn off the heat a little bit here in this round. Yeah, the T's don't have much of a chance in this round. They have, they have utility, but they just don't have the manpower. But if they get clean kills like that, then maybe they can win this round. Yeah, but Arky now they're gonna get completely shut down. They're gonna fall like flies, and now it's gonna be with the remaining CAS players pass here to be in a one versus four clutch. Can he get one of these here? He's not gonna do that. Death Fox is gonna put him down towards his grave. And that's gonna be the 9 4 they were looking for. And could Team Orgus get up to 11 runs here? That's the question here. That would be really good for them. That would be stellar. That would mean that basically winning Pistol would win this game. But, can't really count Arcade out. I mean, they've won some crazy rounds with some very limited buys. So, we'll see. They're, they're going for the full save, though. So, this should be a throwaway round. This should definitely be a give, uh, the, basically Orchid giving away this run right now to Orglist to allow them to go up to double, di uh, double digits at this point. There's really nothing Orchid can do in this run. <laughs> we can just see Nade just dropping them like domino breaks. He has gotten a hat trick and finally gonna fall down, but it's just not gonna matter so much. Or he, or he can't receive, uh, receive that gun. No, not at all. He's just gonna get some kills here, but I think he's gonna get more than one. Yeah, they're looking like they used to do. Oh god, he's just playing ring roses around that pile, but... It's gonna be a 10th round there, and now it's gonna be the last round of the first half coming up. But if you look at the scoreboard for both these two teams, look at the scoreboard on Orglas. Yeah, 22 it's... And then 9 8 It's pretty ridiculous. It's pretty ridiculous. Thing is, none of these teams had somebody going crazy last map. Like, everyone had pretty much the same score on both teams. This map is just the complete opposite. It's just a one-man show over on Orcus right now. Yeah, definitely. And fine. nice grenade on Flash here, taking it down to 62. And that could cause damage here. That could cause turbulence into that B bomb side now when they're gonna enter it. There's the lights. Oh no, Flash now from behind. He just went, stayed in that corner. He's just playing so cold. He's not just taking the first man he sees. Back to three versus two now, and Org is now probably not gonna get this run though, if you look at the HP wise. We have 100 on Farmer, but he's the only one with 100 HP, so he need to go big in this run. Yeah, it's not looking too good there. Problem was, one of the players also had an AWP, and retaking with an AWP. Never fun. Especially not on this map, where there's so many angles you have to worry about. Yeah, definitely. And so we can see here. Arcade, I wouldn't say 
losing pistol would basically lose the game because the score line isn't as one sided as the first map, but if they want to have like a real good shot at this map, they should get pistol around. It's in their best interest. And definitely, we can see Spiker a little bit unusual player on the pistol round having a duo barretas. We've seen, we've seen Get Right a little bit sometimes play with his get, uh, duo barretas on the pistol round. So, but we're gonna see now the play are gonna go towards the B. They have green light to go to the side now. But RK now, they're, gonna, they're doing a good job shutting them down here, but. Still, back to 3 versus 3. 5 versus 3 it was! But RK, they're gonna make that man advantage, but only temporarily. But this is just back and forth here. This is not, you cannot predict this win off this run. And over spazzes on that as well. It's rough, he got gushed too. 5 HP. Yeah, we have two players kind of low here. Dead Fox and Spaz, they're the down with low and barcode and fix their one with HP to work with here. But yeah, we're gonna see now barcode all down him. Can he finally step up for a team now? Could this be the charm? Could this be the spotlight they were looking for? And he's 35 seconds left right now, and he's just trying to pad out against two. He knows where both of them are, but he just cannot hit fast. He's just wrong with one centimeter of an angle. And just going back and forth there, and if I were the uh, marker, I would try to get fixed down here, and then try to go for the second one. Oh, he's gonna find the cheeky coop guy, but he's not gonna find a fix, and... That should have been an or that would have been nice if the Orgus won that round. He could have maybe committed some more bullets. I mean, the Glock has so many bullets. He could have committed more to some wall banging there, but good round by Arcade. I would say if they wanted to feel good about this, bringing this map back, Pistol was a really good start. Of course, it's still only one's game. I mean, winning the next gun round, it's only going to bring them back to, you know, 10-10, so it's still really up in the air who's going to win this map. Yeah, definitely. We can see Orgus now. They're forcing up here. They have the Kevlar and Tech 9 by, so they're gonna go fully into this run, try to win this run, actually. Not going too great so far. Farmer's gonna get one, but they're looking to win this round, not do damage. So, I have no idea what Cyber Focus is there either. Yeah, and Cyber Focus is just gonna peek out around the corner, peekaboo, and he's gonna get him, so that's gonna be the name of the game here. 12 7, uh, 10 7 here is gonna be the scoreline. And Arcade, it's slowly but surely coming back into the game. They have gotten the pistol and now they got the second one, but... Two kills on it from August in that round wasn't really what they were looking for when they were going to try to win that round. Yeah, they were at least minimum looking for a bomb plant, but they didn't even get that, which is unfortunate. And this should be pretty much a clean sweep here. I mean, pretty much a full eco. P250s, that's about it. Yeah, they're gonna, uh, they're gonna invest full day into the next round here. And, yeah, look at Flash. He got a one. Can he get the second one? And, oh, they did a lot of damage with this P250 Morglaze. So. Well, here comes the buy. This is. We're not gonna see a sniper. I don't think we're gonna see a sniper from Orglas. Double op for Arcade. I don't know how I feel about that. That feels so incredibly risky with your economy. Given this is the first gun round, and given that you're behind, that like this is the round where you can have brought this all the way back to an even score line. And they're risking it right here. Yeah, if they lose this run, they gotta probably down to double eco at that point. And we can see Orgas, they're basically jolling through the Molotov and they're actually getting paid off here and they this is not good. This is what he's talking about. Double up setup, and it's just they're investing fully into this round. They're not. They're so low. Yeah. Look at the HP right now. Cyber could still do this, but oh, he's gonna jump. Yeah, he's gonna get a quick scope, and now he goes for a third. He's gonna whiff the shot. He's gonna readdress, but he doesn't really know where he is actually. Nay, now he's gonna come around the corner. And he's gonna get him down, and no, that could not happen from Arcade. That was Cyber Focus's round there. After he saw that player get boosted up there by tree, he should have known. I mean, there's no way he can get up there by himself. So he knew the other player was there. Just came down to hitting that third and final shot. He's really going to be kicking himself for that one. I mean, he hit the hard shot. The one getting boosted was the hard shot, so... Yeah. Unfortunately, this is going to bring them down to a Dead Fox is even going to pick up that AWP at the end of the run after, they kill, uh, after Nate killed the last. So Nate's going to pick up, pick up the AWP. Drop it to Dead Fox now to use it in this round. 
So now that's what we talked about. Now, RK, they're gonna be down to this low budget pistols and the low budget run here. And they're basically gonna give away this run for free. Yeah, there's not much they can do here. And this is why I was so skeptical about that buy, because just look at the situation they put themselves in. They're gonna have to eco again. Unless they don't wanna get it off, they have to eco again. And now we're gonna bring to the point where it's gonna be 12 8. If they lose that next gun round, which, I mean, it's not gonna be a healthy buy either. Even if they save this next round, it's still not gonna be a, a complete buy. So, it's getting closer and closer here for Orgulis in the second map. It's looking really dire after losing to that double off. Uh, why doesn't Cyberpunk reload? He only has three bullets. And he had time to reload at P2000, but. He's just gonna decide to have three bullets and he's gonna run in. Get one kill with him though, but... Pretty... I don't even know what's that about, but... We're gonna have another gun run up for again. It's gonna be a sloppy buy, they're not gonna have so much... They're gonna be light on grenades here. I'm not good, and this... Yeah. This was basically because of the double uh, up setup from the first gun round. All because of that, it's just a chain reaction at this point. Their economy is pretty much in shambles. This is a do or die round. If they lose this round, they're gonna have to go to another eco. By that point, you're... One point away from giving them a tie point. So, they're not off to a great start, unfortunately. So, we're gonna see now fast thing. He's in the corner, he's full wide, he can't do anything. But it looks like Orga, they're gonna commit to this bomb side and. Oh no! This How did that lineup happen? Fix, they're gonna line up for fix and getting a double, but now he's trapped in the corner. They know exactly where he is. That's gonna be the first run. Looks like Orgas. This is their map pick, and they're only three runs away from bringing us our third map, and that's gonna be the cash. Oh, I don't know if you like that rounds. There was some whiffing going on, but that could have definitely gone Arcade's way at one point. But unfortunately, that double kill there just wasn't enough. And here we go, the other eco. I mean, they pretty much have a deagle. That's like the best they've got on CT side here. Yeah, it is. And you, you've just given Orglis too much room at this point. They're going to be up 14 to 8. They only need one more to get guaranteed overtime. And this is all because of the double op. If they hadn't have done that, they could have potentially been buying on this round. Yeah, they invest everything in that round. And now Defy even got to get fixed down, and he's up boosted on that tree. And what a play from Orglis. They're a whole other team now. We did not see them in the opening of this uh, fir first map. And in the start, uh, actually, the first map or the second one here in the start of it. So. They're a whole other team here now, Orgus, and the P9's in the farm is just gonna come in and just pray and pray. And now 14 to 8. He's really come alive on the second map like he was the first map. It was all him, first map. Like, the few rounds that Orgus got first map was because of his entry fragging with the op. And now he's finally starting to show up alongside with Ney here. Yeah. So we're gonna see the an op for both teams. justice at all. He's been doing really good. Yeah, and looks like the team org is every player stepping up now, they're catching into Ney here with 25, who, the guy who got 25 kills, but now Orkin now finally gonna read Orgus now, and this is this is what he needed. This is what he got the for the CIS team. Yeah, it, that was a complete shutout, and they had to, I mean, because look at the terrorist money here. And then look at it even still after this buy, they're gonna buy again and again and again. They have so many situations where they're just going to get back-to-back -back gun rounds here. And the CTs, they can't afford to lose one or it's guaranteed overtime. That's the problem with, because of that, just that double op buy. They're in this predicament now where the T's just have so much leeway. But with this fast play out of drop. Yeah, we're going to see, oh, Dead Fox headshotting his teammate, but it's still going to make that spray down work. And that's back to Fever 2 in favor of the CAS here. But look at the HP there, ha it looks like Org is not going to win this round. They have only two smoke grenades and two flashes to work with in this round here from Dead Fox and company, but he's going to take him down. It's going to be down to Barker here, and he hasn't stepped up in this match at all. Sitting in fact minus one on the scoreboard, so yeah, 40 to 10 though, and they only need two more rounds here, Org does, while Arkin needs six in a row to not bring us on overtime, but... The other buy, and if the terrorists lose this round, they could, in theory, do a Tech 9 armor force buy, and we all know how good you know the Tech 9 is argued to be a rifle in its own sense. But if they win this round, the CTs, they have a decent shot at tying this back up. But it's still going to be rough because 
Like I said, four glitches. What did he spray on coming in here for his pass? Nice break on Tornado. Just spraying down the entire team. Getting three players down. I thought it was going to get a quad there. But. Yeah, Orgs is gonna steal it in the last second, so nice run there, but Orgs just storming in with the guns, just not making it to war again. That was a quick round. This could be the Tech 9 armor buy I was talking about here. It looks like they're getting some utility. No, they're just gonna equalize their money. They're not committing to this. They're, that's good, that's good. So that means they'll probably be able to buy next round, especially to get a bomb fight this round. Yeah, we're gonna see now Orgs. This is gonna be down to this. Pistol, as you said, and it looks like it's gonna be 14 12 scoreline here. But we know that Orgus can surprise, and there's gonna be a gap in that smoking fight, but I don't think Orgus is gonna go through that anyway. Where did they use their smokes, the T's? Because they had two smokes, that was their only utility for a bomb plan here. I think Somebody they're doing on the sideway actually, towards the B sides, but. Yeah, now they have nothing to work with to go into the bomb sites. Yeah, and they needed, like, the whole point of this was to get at least a bomb plant. Could be way really rough doing that without any utility. Yeah, this is very, very questionable situation uh, decision Orgus are making here, and they're just going back and forth. They don't really know where they want to go yet, but finally going to commit to that bigger bomb site. And now we're going to see that the arcade they're out of smoke. They only has one smoke grenade fixed, but that's not going to go towards that B bomb site, I think. And now they're already out, and the fix is going to get caught with his pistols, uh, with his grenade out. I mean. And now that's gonna be a walk in the park here for Orca. They're just getting these easy picks. And wow, what a quick run over here. And Orcus, they, they just had nothing to go into uh, into the bombs I would. Yeah, I'm not really sure what happened to the utility there. I, I couldn't have sworn that I saw one of them buy a smoke grenade. And I was gonna assume that that was gonna be based off of an execution to get at least the bomb plant. But I'm not sure where they ended up throwing that smoke because I was actually expecting it to come over at a. You know, at the plateau. Or like I'll off the plateau of B, but I'm not sure where it went. Yeah, now 14 to 12, and Orkid start catching here on the Hungarians. Have got a four in a row here, the CIS. So maybe this could be the comeback they were looking for. And make this two Syrian, two Syrian maps. They need four in a row to make that happen. So <clears throat> it's definitely possible on the CT side. Well, at this point, economy is basically a non-factor because if they lose this round, they can't lose any more anyways. And look at the CT money, 10 grand, 95 grand. Like, the economy doesn't really do them much good when the team has 14 rounds. So it's really more of an endurance thing at this point because the terrorists, they have loser bonus. They've lost so many rounds in a row, they got max loser bonus. So they're going to be buying pretty much for the rest of this game, I feel like. Yeah, we're gonna have a play toward the A bomb site. Cyber is only gonna get one with him. And that's not gonna be enough to defend this A bomb site. Spaz is around the site though, so we actually need reinforcement. And Orange comes in and it's gonna get the guy through the ladder room. And now it's the time is off that they need to get the bomb plan right now, Orgles, and they will get it as well. And it's back to two versus two all of a sudden. With a break of an eye, and we got a C down flag taking now Orange. Point blank range, make it one versus one and fix. He knows where he is. He has no idea. He knows that they no, kill him from a drop at uh, the window, uh, but what? He's gonna stick it! No, he's not gonna do a fix, could have stuck, stuck it over here. But then this is the mind game comes in here. Flash are up against Fix, and Fix is gonna get him, and Orkin now make that five in a row now. That's five in a row. Whew. I mean, that was really close there. I mean, when he got off that defuse, I mean, you have to realize that the CTs have won so many rounds in a row, right? Where they're going to have all the utility. He had to have known that the CT had a defuse kit with as many rounds as in a row they've won. So after that five seconds when he didn't hear a defuse, he shouldn't have just, you know, recognized that he didn't need to peek there. Yeah, definitely. And they just played Ring Roses around the SWAT truck. And we're going to see Orca. Looks like they're going to do the comeback. Orca, if they lose this one, I don't think they have money to buy in the 29th round. Well, they have max loser bonus going for them. That is one thing they have. They could do a really, really broken buy, but I mean, how broken is it? I mean, a Tech 9 is a really good gun, so. We'll yeah, see. Yeah, definitely. I kind of feel like August, they had this map in their bag, but they're just letting it slip away. They just had this under control now, and then they just keep losing these rounds, and 
I don't know. Maybe we could need ta need this tactical break. If they lose this run, I would say the tactical gotta come in for Morgulus. That would be really wise of them to do at this point, because they don't have many more rounds to work with here. So yeah, we're gonna see now. 40 seconds left. Orgus, they made their way to bomb side A here. So let's see if they can get more than that. They have gotten the first initial kill, and now they're trying to look for a second one. But look at this one now. Fly! They got a line up for Flash! And he's gonna get that double, and that's a triple in total. And now Arcade, they're falling apart. They had this run, they had this match in their bag after they got in five in a row, and now. Orgus, he just turned it, turned it around. <sighs> to be fair, I think a lot of that was attributed to the fact of that double kill, the lineup that happened there. But, I mean, the CTs were al already on A. It's just that they got, like, sprayed down at a lineup angle. I honestly think the CTs had the retake going for them there. I mean, it was 5A4. All five CTs are already right outside the bomb site. Half the terrorists were blind. They didn't have any good afterplants. You saw two of them on the truck, just, like, looking at the same angles. And they still won the round, and I think that all literally come down to just a lucky spray down. Yeah, but Flash, you gotta give it to him. He had a good spray control there, spray, uh, taking those. Yeah, really well out. done. Really well done. Yeah. So, yeah, 50, 30 now. Okay, they have a buy to work with though, but yeah, they have the grenades as well, so they have this full buy run coming in here. The 29th one here. Are we gonna see a 13th one here, or are we gonna see it over here? Get it into a third map. That was a brilliant pop flash. I don't know if you saw that by Dead Fox. He helped Nay get that kill on Cyber Focus. From long. He threw it over the uh, scaffold wall there. So now we're gonna see that. This is just looked like the Orgas. They managed to take this map somehow. This is their map pick. So it looks like both teams are about to get their map pick here home and get it to the decider. But it's not over yet here. Form is still alive here though. And it's gonna take the fight. It's gonna take down Origin. That could not happen. And this is just a roller coaster back and forth. But it looks like Orgus are finally gonna make it. Low HP on two players, but it's still a really tall order. Thing is, the bomb's not planted. If he just kills the bomb planter. And they know this, they're mollying it. Yeah, mo he's mollying. He has nowhere to go and Flash. He's the sheriff of the town there. He's gonna get him down. It's gonna be 60 40. Orgus. They're gonna get a so far map here. Really good comeback there, but I think Arcade was just faltering a bit there towards the end. I mean, it was really their game to lose. They had such a massive lead. Yeah, definitely, and the firm map, as we talked about, is going to be DE Cash, and that's going to come up very, very shortly, so uh, thanks uh, very much, everyone, for uh, sticking with us. We're going to be live with the, uh, uh, back with the firm map very, very shortly. We also have a flip knife giveaway, guys, coming up at 50 subscribers. That's the 8 subscribers away, so get, if you guys want to enter that. Make sure to do that, but uh, we're going to be live with a firm very, very shortly. So a few commercials break coming up, guys. Don't go anywhere.